Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have four new indie polish brands to share with you. I have never ever tried any polishes from this brand before. So this is a new to me brand and a first time review. So if you want to see my thoughts and opinions, keep on watching. So like I said, I'll be sharing four polishes from Rogue Lacquer with you guys today. The first three are part of a collection called the Sirens of Summer Collection. And the fourth one is one that I purchased from the Indie Expo in Canada that I went to in 2018, I believe it was. That was the first and last one I went to, guys. I'm really sad, but I still have a lot of, like, not gel polishes, but like indie brand polishes, regular polishes to share with you guys because I didn't get to finish it last year, so my goal is to finish it this year. So this is from that collection that I have just sitting there ready to swatch and share with you guys so the first polish I'll be sharing this is called beach I'm a mermaid look at how beautiful that is Um, nail tips which I shared with you guys in one of my prior videos I'll have it linked in the card for you as well so I figured like I'll use like different lengths and sizes to swatch for you guys so Beach I'm a Mermaid is a grape jelly so remember in prior videos I've uh, mentioned like jelly finish polishes. They have more of a thinner consistency and jelly polishes are usually a bit more on the sheer side. You can build them up or you could use them over top like a similar color if you wish or even a different color just to give it a different effect. So this one has pink to orange multi-chrome shimmer in it, aqua to pink multi-chrome iridescent flakes, hollow shimmer, and I think it is so pretty. I know like it's like okay the first coat you can't see much but I'm gonna try to build it up as best as possible so you guys could really really get the effect of it. And here's what Beach Emma Mermaid looks like in three thin coats. So again yes it is still see-through but again this is what jelly polishes are like because you can actually go in in between each layer and maybe do some stamping or do some kind of design if you wish so it is meant to be like that but it's still built up very nicely and you get a really nice variety of like the flakes and the glitter and everything and here is what beach emma mermaid looks like against my skin tone so as again you see like you can still see the design on my thumb under the the polish but that's okay because like even if like for example so this is what I mean like when I say you could layer it like look at how nice that looks over this purple and look at how it looks over the blue so if you don't want to build it up um, on it by itself you can definitely go ahead and place it over a solid color and give a completely different look to that polish the next polish I'll be sharing with you is called I washed up like this uh, this is so gorgeous as well and you guys know I'm not really like a green lover but this is really pretty God, look at that. So I washed up like this is a teal emerald green jelly. So this is another jelly, guys. So you have to give it some time to build up with green to purple multi-chrome iridescent flakes, blue to green duochrome shimmer, and gold hollow micro glitter in it as well. So this is the second polish that's part of the Sirens of Summer collection. Honestly, guys, I see potential with this one as well. Like, yeah, jellies are a bit more difficult because you have to build them up more. They can take a bit uh, more coats rather than two or three sometimes but honestly they're usually worth it and here is I washed up like this again once you get to that third coat you get very very good coverage and opacity in terms of building it up to give it a bit more base and I love it like this is such a beautiful green guys I could have gone in with four coats when it came to the jelly polishes but honestly I didn't want to I think three is good enough you could try four if you want to but for me personally I wanted to stop at three and here is I washed up like this against my skin tone isn't this such a beautiful green guys 
I mean like come on absolutely stunning and like here's what it would look like over the blue on my nail last polish I have to share with you from the sirens of summer trio collection is called shell yeah I think the pun on the names is really cute mm -hmm. Shell Ya yeah is a coral jelly with gold to green multi-chrome iridescent flakes and shimmer and it also has gold hollow micro glitter running through it as well. Again, the potential is there. It's just with jellies, you have to build them up guys. So let's see how these turn out. And here's what Shell Ya yeah looks like in three coats as well. This is really pretty too, like this is perfect for this time of year. And here we have Shell Ya yeah against my skin tone. Look at how pretty that is. This is such a fun color as well. Oop, tripping out my camera. There we go, okay, yes. And it's such a fun um, polish too. There's so many things you can do with jellies, it's not even funny. And the last polish that I will be sharing with you from Rogue Lacquer is called Retro Future. Retro Future is a minty seafoam green. This has copper, silver, bronze, and gold chrome flakes, and it has a turquoise sparkle to it as well. So the other three um, polishes that I shared with you are jelly polishes, where this one is more of a cream finish, so it shouldn't take as much to get it opaque as it would with the jelly polishes. <music> Last but not least, here is Retro Future. I absolutely adore this one. I'm not even gonna lie, guys. I don't usually gravitate towards colors like this, but the base color is really nice. And then all the flakes and the glitters and the shimmer, like it is fantastic. And here's Retro Future against my skin tone. Like this one was very opaque, especially by that third coat. Had I gone in a bit thicker, I could have easily gone away with two, but for all of them, I decided to just do three coats. And here we have the four polishes from Rogue Lacquer. In all honesty, guys, this is a new to me brand. I've never tried any polishes from this brand before. I will say that I am very pleased and impressed with the four polishes that I was able to pick up from the Indie Expo Canada. I absolutely adore them. They have great coverage. They build very nicely. They are packed with a variety of glitters and shimmers and flakes like I love the dimensions of these polishes guys you cannot go wrong so let me know what you guys think have you heard of this brand before have you tried polishes from this brand before as always guys thank you so much for tuning in and watching my videos please do make sure to give this video a thumbs up as well as make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you will be notified when i do post more content and until next time stay glamorous